Shalom, shalom, Shabbat shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and who have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, you brothers, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. Um, before I begin with this lesson, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Um, Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shah is the true name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Bahashim Rakakwadash, literally translated, would mean in the name of the Spirit Holy, which is the Holy Spirit. And that is all in the Lashwan Kwadash, the Paleo Hebrew tongue. All right, the holy tongue. So uh, this one will be entitled, uh, Lord willing, Rejoice, Deliverance Coming Soon. And deliverance is coming to the elect of the nation of Israel. The elect, the remnant that was chosen before the foundation of the earth to receive salvation in these latter uh well in these latter days in these end times deliverance is coming for the elect the apple of his eye the chosen lineage the chosen seed of yasharala which is israel uh, yasharala meaning uh he prince power all right, he is a prince of power. So, Lord Renlin, this will be edifying and exhorting unto the flock. To begin here, I have Isaiah 26 and 20. And it reads, Come, my people, who is his people, the Israelites. All right, it says, Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And this is alluding to, um, referring to the chariots when we get beamed up, when we get beamed up uh, into them so-called UFOs, what the world calls the UFOs, and those are the means of deliverance. <laughs> We're going to be going up, right? We're going to get beamed up, Lord willing. I say we speaking as the hopeful elect because... At the end of the day, we're prisoners of hope and we're all hoping or as we should be really hoping for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's mercy. We just pray that we're of the elect. That's why it's that's why we're considered the hopeful elect. Um, but it, like I said, hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed because uh, the Lord is coming to destroy America, Babylon the Great within one hour. As the, as the scriptures say uh, in Revelation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I said, hide, hide thyself as it were a little moment till the indignation be overpassed. The indignation, the Lord's rebuke, the Lord's fury with the laser beams from the chariots, all right, the UFOs, and they're coming to uh, uh, create destruction, right? with the Lord and his angels, you know, the Lord of hosts and Mike, uh, Michael, the archangel, as well as uh, the Lord's nuclear ICBM missiles that are coming to produce that fire as well. That thermal nuclear fire, that's the indignation. So right there, you know what I'm saying? Lord, when we get beamed up, we're going to escape that judgment. Right. So it says, uh, verse 21, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Uh, and it says the earth shall also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain and the slain. Uh, yeah, the slain of the Lord shall be many. It's going to be a lot of death in that day of doom as we'll get into it. OK, so. And also, just to make a quick point, this is uh, 
You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh is sitting on that throne. You know what I'm saying? The king never moves off his throne. So how is he going to uh, come out of his place? It's through his son. Through his son. His son is going to be, uh, uh, well, it's through his son he's going to get the glory as well. But all praise, honor, and glory is going to Yahweh Bashem Shai, and everybody will um, bow unto that, unto those names, right, and serve the true living power Yahweh, and give reverence unto his son Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. This is what's coming. But Second Ezra seven and forty three. It says, uh, I'll start at 42, second is just 7, 42. He answered me and said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. And uh, this also links up with, uh, basically, it's uh, it's not comparable. <sighs> Lord, well, let me just grab it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, I believe it's Romans either 8 or 9. So if I like if I'm wrong, I'm going to try to grab it. Yep, right here. Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right? And I read in the NLT, it said, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Because as in everything in this present life is temporal. Right? But in the kingdom of heaven, it's eternal. It's eternal and we're going to be in our full glory right here, you know what I'm saying? We're down on the low. We we take the low, right? We're at the bottom of the totem pole, so to speak. But the glory that the Lord is going to receive first and foremost and then give unto his elect, man, <laughs> you know, we can't even fathom it. But uh, 2 Azure 7 42 again, it says, He answered me and said, This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. That's right. The end of this age. This world. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man's heaven. And the day of doom is what? The day of the Lord. When Yahweh Basham Yahshai cracks them clouds. It says, In the beginning of the immortality for to come. That's right, because what? We're going to be uh, uh, changed with the uh, twinkling of an eye. As a twinkling of an eye, our souls are going to get, uh, what? Beamed up, transformed, while this flesh is going to be burnt up. However, what? In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to live forever and ever, because why? The wages of sin is death. And right now, we're in these chains of darkness, prone to sin, prone to going off. Right, no good thing dwelleth within us in this flesh. But the spirit is clean though. And when we get changed, there's gonna be no sin within us, no sin uh within our inward parts. All right, we're gonna have the law, statutes, and commandments within our inward parts. That's what the Lord is is coming with to bring unto us when we're uh in that in that uh second covenant. It says in the beginning of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past, what? Right. The corruptible bodies, it was past. Lord willing, when we get delivered. It says intemperance is at an end. And I'll grab this word intemperance. I had just looked it up because I was curious myself. Uh, intemperance going into, from the dictionary.com, excessive or uh, immoderate indulgence in alcoholic beverages. Excessive indulgence of appetite or passion. Lack of moderation or due, or due restraint as an action or speech, an act or instance of any of these. So it's going to be a, what I get from this. Oh, right here it says uh, vocabulary.com. Intemperance is when you can't do anything halfway or hold yourself back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's that temptation, right? Lack of moderation or restraint because... You know, we're made subject to vanity. Again, that's going to be cut off because, you know, when we hit, when we receive the new bodies, we're going to be perfect. We're going to be perfect. Right. And also, <clears throat> also what I get from this as well, you know, what I'm saying just putting it into. Uh, just uh, speculating, spiritually speculating. 
this uh, lack of moderation, habitual or excessive drinking. And I speak of the man, but what? That intemperance, that drunkenness is at an end. Our people aren't going to be drunk no more off the philosophies and the doctrines of the world, of the devil, of the different religions and such. We're going to be in our right minds. All right. Like the scriptures say, uh, they are drunk, but not with wine, loosely paraphrasing. They're drunk with the, with the philosophies. However, in, in the kingdom, right, when they get birth back into the right mind, the two thirds and, and you know what I'm saying, the rest of the nation of Israel, they're going to be straight. You know, not on level as the elect, of course, but they're still going to be good. Of course, they're Israelites, man. They're the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai still. And as the scriptures say, all Israel will be saved, but you know what I'm saying? The wicked of our people, they're going to have to know it. What? After death by pain. Um, But to continue on, 2nd Ezra 7 to 44, intemperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up. From here, let's jump to Isaiah 63 and 1. And I'm going to just read uh, verse 1. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed gar garments from Basra? And uh, Basra, if I'm not mistaken, was a capital city. A uh, town in Edom. So it doesn't really say, Salak if I'm wrong, but it, it goes into a place in Edom. But, uh, what is uh, Basra? What's the rep? Uh, yeah. What country is a representation of, of uh, Basra today? Is America, right? The cash cow of the Edomites. And who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? It, this is speaking of Yahweh Shai. It says, This that is glorious in his apparel, right? He's not coming to meet thee as a man, traveling in the greatness of his strength and his full glory. In his glorious body, in his godlike, uh, uh, well, in his god form, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai. It says, "I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save." Hey, Yahweh Shai, He deliverer, He deliver. And you know what I'm saying? It's through our Lord that we will be saved. Okay. So from here, let's jump to. Um, Yep, Matthew 24 and 31. Matthew 24 and 31. Let's start at verse 30. Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the, son, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And who is this? Uh, the anointed, right? Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It says the Son of Man in heaven. That's right, because he's coming on what? His fathership. That massive chariot. That every eye shall see. It says, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, right? With the rest of his angels coming to bring deliverance and also destruction upon the heathen and the wicked of our people. It goes into, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So uh, the salvation is going to be across the entire globe, but primarily um, here in America, Babylon the Great, where a majority of the saving will be. Right in the land of the north, America. And that's what we're going to need, man. Divine intervention. That's the only way to escape is through our Lord. Lord willing, we get beamed up. Lord willing, we're of the elect. But Isaiah, go to Isaiah 51 and 6. It reads, I'll start at 6. And this entire chapter, man, <laughs> this entire, entire chapter is tough. But I'm going to just read... Uh, Isaiah 51 and 6, uh, and I'm going to jump down to verse 11. Actually, I'm going to start at uh, 5. Isaiah 51 and 5. My righteousness is near. My salvation has gone forth. 
and mine arm shall judge the people. Right? He's coming to plead with all flesh. It says, the isles shall wait upon thee, and on my arm shall they trust. And who is the uh, uh, the arm of Yahweh, who's sitting on the right hand of Yahweh? Is Yahweh shy? It says, lift up your eyes to the heavens. That's right. Look, uh, uh, look up. As the scriptures say, look up for your for you, for, so like <laughs> for your salvation draw off nigh. Is near. So rejoice. Hey, rejoice, Akim. We're close. Rejoice. It says, lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall uh, vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment. Now, mind you, the earth abided forever. The earth abided forever. However, you know what I'm saying? When the Lord comes, it's going to be dark. That's why we're going to look up and it's going to, yeah, you're not going to see it really the sky no more. Due to what? That fathership, the rest of his angels, and also the, and them, uh, them arrows being shot over here. As you can think, like in the, uh, not the book, the movie 300, and it was that scene when they, uh, who was it? The, uh, they were fighting the, um, I believe Xerxes army, if I'm not mistaken, in that movie. But basically when that when that uh rival rival camp shot them arrows from across the mountain and they looked up <laughs> and uh you know we put the we put them shields up over us. That's how it's that's how it's gonna be. All right, the 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 sky is disappearing like smoke as it said in the NLT. Um but it says what? And the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. And um, Lord willing, hey, we're gonna we're gonna see the destruction of our enemies. Um, uh, pursuing to uh, Psalm ninety one, you know, inspired by the I was just watching the the uh, the elders in the Akim out there in Dallas, and they were going into it. And the water you help Bashim Yah Shai for them, and the water you help Bashim Yah Shai for the inspiration, because you know what I'm saying, prompted me to do this lesson. But uh, yeah, man, Lord willing, that's where that's what we're gonna see, All right? When you look, uh, when we look down from the chariots, right, the sea of glass. Actually, let me grab that real quick, real quick, and I'm gonna jump back. Uh, Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. So this is what uh, John the Revelator saw in that vision. And Lord willing, this is what we're going to experience being in the in that chariot. Right when we're looking down, he saw a sea of glass mingled with fire. And it's America. Looking down at the destruction of, of that place and rejoicing. You know what I'm saying? With our Lord. Singing that new song, singing a victory. That says, And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. That's right. And we got the victory over Esau Edom, his beast system, right? Rome 2.0, over his image, the NWO, and over his mark, that chip. And over the number of his name. Right, Kai Sai Stigma, that uh, 666. And with all that it stands for, all the evil that it stands for. But going uh, back to Isaiah 51, uh, uh, continuing on in verse 6, it says, But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. That's right. Is uh, The kingdom of heaven is going to last forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. All right, eternity. All right, the infinity sign. Um, but jumping down to Isaiah 51 and 11, it says, Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. And who's the redeemed of the Lord? Going back to the elect. It says, And come with singing unto Zion. Did we not just read that uh, Revelation 15? With the harps of the Most High? It says, An everlasting joy shall be upon their head. <laughs> hey, cause why? It says they shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. No more worrying, no more uh, 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 
You know what I'm saying? No more going off. No more headaches, heartbreaks. <laughs> Things of that nature. No more oppression. Right? No more eating defiled ass foods and Lord knows what food that we're eating. Man, it's going to be forever peace. This is what's coming. Right? And rejoice in it. Look for it. And and continue to hope in his mercy. So uh, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting. Again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors again unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shabbat Shalom. Wa Ababa.